Hello and welcome back. And of course, it is Black Friday. I say it's Black Friday. It's been going on for like a week. Has anyone noticed that? It's crazy. I know I do a video like this every year where I kind of highlight some of the, uh, the deals that I know about on top of talking about why you should be careful at Black Friday. But there's still no denying that this particular Black Friday seems to be going on forever. Every single day, I feel like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day, kind of waking up like, oh my God, more emails, more push notifications. And they're just there, aren't they? Well, Black Friday this year has been going on for way, way too long. Obviously, companies like Amazon have spearheaded this. And we are looking at an Amazon uh, uh, Black Friday that's been going on for well over a week. So it's going to you include Cyber Monday as well. You're probably looking at about 10 to 11 days of straightforward promotions, not including all the build-up either side. But today I want to talk about NAS and data storage. I want to talk, one, about what, what you should be looking out for and be careful of, and two, some of the deals that I am aware of that are happening right now. So things to be aware of. Obviously, there's the usual things. A lot of the thing, a lot of the items that you do see at Black Friday will, of course, be re uh, items that they're trying to clear stock. Whether it's brands that are sitting on old stock and they're just trying to clear it out so they can introduce the new series, or it's just stock that, you know, it's the price is too good to be true, and therefore, when you get it, you realise it was low price for a reason. Well, when it comes to this Black Friday, when it comes to the offers, particularly in NAS, let's look at those big brands. First and foremost, let's talk about Synology. Now, Synology uh, deals at the moment, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we haven't seen an arrival of the likes of the 220, the 920, uh, the 720 series. In fact, any of the kind of flagship 2020 series NAS and the devices that are currently available for the most part are the 2018-19 series. These are the ones that end in 18 plus. Your 218, 718, your 918. Now, these NASes are good devices. I'm not going to say they're not. They're still very, very good with the software being innovated all the time. But the prices on these have been reduced, but not by loads. There are discounts out there for these devices, but they're not going to be lots of discounts. What you will see is lots of um, kind of sideline um, improvement in price. If you go to Span right now, they're listing the 918 Plus and you can upgrade it to 8 gig for 10 quid, which is pretty cheap, let's be honest. Uh, I don't believe that includes VAT, but double check. Um, and you are seeing this same sort of promo in a lot of places. Not as good as that, if I'm honest, but you are seeing deals for the, the 18 Plus series arriving where you're, you know, you're going to save about 10 to 15 percent in some places, which is pretty good. Now, moving away from the flagship products, we can look at where the real discounts are. And in these, we are looking at the real tech series from Synology. These are ones like the 218, the 418, the 118, these sort of NASs, maybe even some of the J's. These devices have seen really, really good discounts. I'm seeing some great prices in numerous resources, including Span, of course. Um, and where if you do look at these products, you will go, meh, that's a pretty good price. And it is. It's a very good price for a quad-core Realtek ARM 64-bit processor NAS. But just remember that these NASs, as good as they are, do not feature things like Plex support with 4K transcoding, though they do support Plex in a limited capacity, and things like virtualization and more. So you are going to see great deals from Synology, but the majority of those deals I've seen are on value series products. Some of the bigger stuff is reduced as well, and particularly the older gen to clear it out, but that's where you should be looking if you're a Synology buyer. Now, if you're a QNAP buyer, slightly different story, because what you'll see with the QNAP deals is they are distributed. If you look around, you will find a number of these deals at different outlets with different products being focused. It's a very, very good idea on their part where the majority of deals are being available to a larger number of people. But the best deals will only come from the big, big vendors. We're seeing a lot of, of the flagship kind of Intel series products distributed among the main players in retail on the online scene. But if you head over to Span right now, the units you're looking at are some of the best ones that I've talked about on the channel this year. And I know that sounds like a plug, understandably so, but it is that and the fact that they are legitimately good NAS. They have deals at the moment on the 872XT, 672XT, and 672N. These are all 
Intel 8th generation i3 or i5 powered NAS, featuring in some cases 5 GBE all the way up to 10 GBE and Thunderbolt 3, with a very, very interesting price drop on those of a decent chunk. Again, go to the description. On top of that, one of my favorite QNAPs in you know the last four years, the 453BE is on discount as well, so do check that out. On top of that, there's lots of deals out there for accessories, and I do know that Span will be doing uh, exclusive deals on Black Friday itself. None of this one-week nonsense that I don't quite understand. Now, moving towards some of the other brands like Buffalo there. Buffalo's Terra Station series, and I'm talking their 10 GBE stuff, and even some of their um, standalone um, Link Station stuff, all is getting very, very good discounts across the board. And that is, um, you're going to find those deals on a number of vendors with their own respective profit margins. But right now, if you are looking at a NAS to buy in this period right now, these are three big brands to look at. You've got your Buffalo for your robust business. You've got your QNAP for your Windows, Indie, Android kind of alternate users. And for your Mac, video editing, um, and uh, basically easy, chewable, friendly NAS, you've got your Synology. And remember, that in line with all of this, you are looking at you know the hard drive vendors, WD and Seagate, pushing their drives hard. They've both released a bunch of new SSDs and hard drives, and you're going to see a lot of those arriving at very, very impressive prices. And again, I'm sorry to keep plugging it, there are links in the description to different deal pages where these things are listed. And I'll keep these here at least until the end of Cyber Monday before I pull them down. Um, but when it comes to buying data storage on Black Friday, again, every year I say this, but I'm going to repeat it time and time again. One, make sure you trust the vendor you are buying from because technology is... You know, it's it's not perfect. It can fail. And in the case of data storage, whether it's a NAS or the hard drives, these things are not infallible. And you need a vendor that you can work with, not just a vendor that will go, contact the manufacturer, get out of my sight. Secondly, lots of vendors list prices on Black Friday without the physical stock. This is a real bugbear, okay? Make sure when you are buying from a vendor that they have the stock because wrapped up in their terms and conditions, they will say, oh, we can up the prices whenever we so choose and you can go away if you don't want it. So make sure they either have stock or a dedicated lead time. These are two things. A lead time is effectively them saying, we can get it in this many days, you'll receive it in this many days. If they're not prepared to state that on their page, don't buy from them. I don't care if it's Span, Amazon, anyone. Just don't. Do not buy from anywhere that doesn't have a lead time. Because what's happening is they are getting the orders and they'll say to you, you'll get it in two weeks. And then they contact their their supplier, the brand, whatever, and saying, we need 18 units at this price. And the delays and the consequence and the rushing, because there's a whole supply chain there, will just fall apart. Lastly, check reviews. And I know this seems mind-bendingly obvious, Okay but check the reviews because most of these stores will have online store, um, re, um, reviews online. One of the biggest ones we use in this country, at least, is Trustpilot. Do check out a company's reviews. Don't just look at the overall score, the one at the top. That's fair and well. Look at the most recent reviews, okay? Don't just list by four, five, whatever stars. Just look at the most recent reviews. Because that gives you some idea about how that company is going to approach Black Friday. And what you may see is a lot of companies skirting by on heritage reviews rather than the most modern reviews. And I say don't click on stars, but click on the four stars. The fives are good. Threes and twos and ones, and, you know, it can be a problem and they'll talk about some other elements. But four stars and indeed three stars are very, very good stances to look at reviews. Don't just immediately look at a website that says three out of five or four out of five and dismiss them instantly. Actually take the time to look because you are giving this company money and a lot of the deals you might see are too good to be true because the company is going to go under in January. So make sure you check those things in advance, okay? And lastly, and again, one last plug for Span because it is important if you do buy from them, you get that build and test thrown in that's something you're not going to get anywhere else. 
when you do buy um, drives uh, with your NAS from Span, they will build it, they will test it, they will set up the RAID, and all of this is factored into their delivery times stated on the website. Again, check these things in advance. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this has been a laboured lecture of love, but it's important that a number of you understand that Black Friday is not in your interests, okay? Y you can gain stuff from it, but it's not just for you. It's for them, and there's us, and there's them. But thank you so much for watching. Click like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.